Peggy 12. Hey everyone, my name's Hamish Miller and I'm the producer on Deathbank. Right now we're going to take a look at co-op mode. This is Deathbank and his sidekick Sparkles, a second player can join in at any time to help out Deathbank in the action. Sparkles primarily is using a ranged attack in this section. He's great for standing back and picking off enemies, and also collecting all the loot that Deathbank ends up leaving around the world. So these are a bunch of orcs we're fighting here, and one strategy is to sort of trap them in this bottleneck here, and they can stand back and both use ranged attacks, Deathbank using ice bolts there. But also Deathbank's great for running and meleeing these guys. You'll find this is particularly effective against the shamans. We've got a couple of them here. These guys heal not only themselves, but they have a radial effect healing anybody around them. So it makes a lot of sense for Deathbank to run in and take those guys out as soon as possible. If you do run in though, you need to be careful because these guys share a health bar, which means you need to be particularly careful about the amount of damage you're taking. The good news is that when you start healing yourself, and Deathbank can do that by drinking a potion or eating food, both characters will be healed at the same time. So we're going to take out the last couple of orcs. And then we'll take a look at the Pip Village. And this will be a little bit more difficult. So we'll explore some of the other techniques that these guys can use together. This is Sparkle's flamethrower attack. As a hint and tip, you might find it valuable for Deathbank to hang back and use ranged attacks while Sparkles holds him at bay with the flames. And then we have Deathbank's spinning sword attack and Sparkles' third ability, which is to heal Deathbank. Very valuable when you're surrounded by many enemies. Deathbank can throw up his shield and run through a whole bunch of enemies to try and escape damage and Sparkles will just have to be careful because he doesn't have a uh, shield of his own, and there's some pretty effective flamethrowing. I think that's a verb. We'll find a few more pips on the path down this way. Have to take care of them. Fortunately, we're out of the thick of it, so these are some of the smaller guys. Great flamethrowing there again. Now this is Sparkle's fourth ability. He unleashes a mini version of himself, and then he'll stand around for a little bit, chase and explode after any enemy in sight. So we just missed that guy, we're going to try it again. Here we go. So put down mini sparkles. And my best advice is run, because when this guy explodes, he's extremely dangerous. <laughs> and Deathbank almost gets hit there, but we take that pip out. Fantastic. Now we're entering the Enchanted Forest. And this area is inhabited by some of the most dangerous creatures in the world, unicorns. So we're going to cause some absolute chaos here, and I don't think these guys are going to last too long. But hopefully what we've shown you today is a demonstration of how Deathbank can be best shared between friends, with two players playing in the game at the same time, and causing all sorts of chaos.